about the, the entity. Yeah. You know, when 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 there's economic strife, like at the minute in the States sure. and everywhere else in the world, sure. when there's a, a downturn in, in emotional feeling, you know, 9-11, uh, downturn, right. you know, uh, um, uh, Vietnam, downturn, you know, uh, 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 Pearl Harbor, downturn, right. um, winning the Second World War, upturn, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, um, economic upturns, you know, uh, uh, so I think that affects the youth of any culture. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. the youth want to scream out. That's how you end up with Nirvana. That's how you end up with Sex Pistols. That's, that's how you end up with all those movements. Fuck yeah. it. You know, and that's how a movement happens. And I think uh, Venom became a movement. You know, and what happened after Venom was all those bands who thought, I, I, I'm not Ying Wee Mom's team, but they showed me that I can play, I can make music, and it doesn't fucking matter. And that's what played through. So it yeah. led to possibilities for other bands. And I always say there was a corporate wall and the corporates controlled it. They sat on the wall and they kept everybody back. And you know, you could climb over or climb up to them <laughs> if they allowed you. And Venom just went, fuck it, stay on. And they punched the hole right <laughs> through. And once the hole was big enough, all the other bands went, we can get through there. Oh, yeah, and you got Slayer, you had Exodus, Boom. everybody. Boom. Yeah. That's what happened. And uh, and that's what I tried to get through with with playing is it's the emotional contact. Yeah. It's the emotion. It's, the characters can change. The characters will always be those characters. Yeah. But uh, I want to bring those characters out to life. And I want people to go. And I've had like 50 year old guys. We played in Belgium, Baroque Open Air. And I, I was the first one back in the trailer. Knock on the door, and I thought it was one of those. So I opened the door, and it was just some guy, 51. <laughs> and he said, Can I come in? And I was like, uh, Yeah, sure. You're going to kill me? <laughs> so I brought him in, and I figured he worked for the worked at the festival. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking was taking my pants down, got down to my knees, and he went, Can I give you a hug? And I went, Okay, I'll just pull these Not back now. Up. <laughs> so I did my trousers up, and I went, I, I hugged the guy, and he started to cry. So I sat him down, and I went, Nana, you okay? What's the matter? And he was like, No, I just, I had to come and see you. You know, I'm not even supposed to be here. I crawled under a fence. Yeah, and I was like, shit, uh, why? And he was like, you played Live Like an Angel. And the first time I heard that, told me this whole story. And he said, when you played it on stage, it sounded like that first moment I heard it. <laughs> exactly. And he said, the tears, I could feel the tears. And I thought, I've got to see him and say thank you for that. Now, um, we're, we're going from 17 up. That's uh, awesome. That's when we played in Poland, we played a place in Poland, the last day in Poland on the tour uh, with uh, uh, Vera. The whole front row, fucking hell, we're younger, uh, about the same age as my daughter. I was like, That's awesome. And they had everything on the fucking patches, they had vinyl records. I was like, Wow, it's turning, it's oh, turning yeah. now. Yeah. The kids are gone. My dad had the best fucking record collection and saw the best fucking man's, and I want a piece of it. Me and Jeff did some demos. I sent them to fucking everybody, uh, and uh, uh, nothing. People came back and it was like, oh, I, don't, I don't understand it. We didn't get a titter. And then I spoke yeah. to a couple of uh, you know people in the industry, up in the industry, uh, uh, and uh, at labels, and said, I don't understand. Do you not like the stuff? And they said, Yeah, the stuff's really good. And I said, So, yeah. but you're not interested. And, and they went, It's too old school. And I went, Right. What, what actually does that mean? Because yeah. like, aren't Metallica old school or the Stones old school? <laughs> I mean, so I said, and they feel like arena, so... I was like, Iron Maiden's old school, and they're playing United Center in uh, two months. Yeah, you know? Come on, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, I mean... Um, <laughs> Let Me Die, he was old school. Well, yeah, so yeah, it's like, yeah. come on, I mean, it's like... And they went, well, no, well, it's not what labels are looking for. They're looking for front-end new stuff. So I was like, okay. And I said, you know what? I, I think you're wrong. I think times are changing. Yeah. Four years later, Nuclear Bass brought Hell, brought back Dark Angel, the, uh, you know, Exodus. Angel and, Witcher on our Angel tour? Witch, I'm like, are you I mean, kidding me? Like, Raven's done the best album that they've knocked it out of the park on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Best album yeah. they've done in years. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's like fucking, you know, Saxon, they're on tour? Uh, Satan got back together yeah. and just done. I mean, yep. it's alive, and the kids are going, fucking hell, this is great. This is where it all came from. Yeah. I can listen all day to a press file. It's not tangible. You know, on my something MP3, about but the... I want to stand there and have me yeah. fucking face kicked in by a real band yeah. who just plug in, turn up, and play. Yeah. You know, we don't use any triggers. We did a whole, I think this year, of everywhere we've been in the world, we've probably had backdrops 
five times. Yeah, it's a trip. Yeah, we don't have anything. And yeah. someone, went, someone said to me in Europe, um, you don't have any like backdrop because Vader had all this shit. Though. Right, right. He said you don't have any backdrops or anything. I said, do you not know who we are? They went, yeah. I said, so what the fuck? So why do we need a backdrop? Why do we need a name? I said, you know what I need? I need you in front of me. We need the lights out, the amps up, and that's all we need. Yes, the yeah. music. And I said, when yeah. we start to play, you won't give a fuck whether there's a girl dancing on a pole, whether there's a sheep walks past. You're not gonna be looking at the backdrop. <laughs> yeah, you'll be lost, and that's what I want to do. I want you to lose your mind. I want you to give into it. Don't think about, you know, or oh, this one's not there, or he's not there, or they, they shouldn't be playing. Just listen to the music and let yourself go. Yeah. And if you come out the other end and go, that sucked, hey, I did all, everything that's, I could. That's your, yeah. But I promise you, you will go away going, that was, at worst you'll go, that was kind of cool. <laughs> that was kind of cool. And at best you'll you'll go away going, fuck me. I, yeah. I feel like the first time, you could be 14, 12, 15, oh, yeah. the first time you heard them, that's what I want to get. I yeah. want to get that emotion, you know? Like, you know, I've always been underground personally. I've always liked the clubs more than the oh, big stages. Yeah, for sure. Because, you know. It's just more visceral. It's more buzz, of an experience. The than, buzz, than, yeah. yeah. It's a complete experience. Yeah. Everybody goes out there drained, sweaty, yeah, yeah. going fucking hell. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's, to me, what the spirit of Venom was. The original spirit of Venom was like, it was unbridled chaos. Yeah. You weren't sure what was going to happen on a record. It was borderline you violent. You never knew what, what was going to do yeah. next. Were yeah. they going to be laughing or were they going to want to kick the fuck out of you? Yeah. And when you came to a show, would it hold together yeah. or would it just blow up? Nobody knew. Yeah. You know, the first show at Paramount City, first show they did in New York, Paramount City. Intro goes, bah, the whole intro, boom, the first pyro goes up and blew everything up. <laughs> All the amps and cabs went off. And people were like, what the fuck? I mean, the band was That going. was the first show in New York. That was the first one. <laughs> That's great. The first pyro attack, boom, like that, everything off. It was like, <laughs> thank you. Like venom then, <laughs> that's venom. But that was the beauty of it. It's like yeah. it could just go sideways or they might get to the end. Yeah. Um, of course, the years have told and, uh, and experience has, has put us back to form. So we'll always get <laughs> sure, to the end sure. now. But what we do is I can try and control the violence into a state where I want it to be violent. I want you to feel that like, if you get too close, I'm going to kick your fucking teeth. Yeah. I'm going to kick your teeth. You, yeah. you can get up on the stage, you can do what you like, but I'm going to do it back to you as well. <laughs> it's like, I want you to feel that you can express yourself any how you want to express yeah. yourself. And, and like I said to people earlier, there's only one motherfucking rule. That is, there's no <laughs> fucking rules. You know, and, 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 and because we're having to abide by rules all the fucking time, do not... Uh, uh, tonight, you do not need one. Yeah. But this is yours. This is your time. Your show. We're here for you. So it's yours. Do what the fuck you like. I yeah. don't care. The club might have a complaint. Well, you know. They could call the cops. Yeah, but you'll leave after that. So, <laughs> so we will, yeah. As sense. long as nobody in the audience gets arrested, I'm yeah, okay. Right. You know what? I'm passionate about what I do. And I love the metal community because they're beyond passionate. Oh, yeah. I said, so the fact that you feel so fucking passionate, I would never write to an artist I, did, I wasn't interested in to say you're a cunt. Well, no, yeah. You know, I mean, if I made and put the new album out and I took it, I bought it and I took it home and I put it on and I went, that sucks. I wouldn't go, right, I've got to find <laughs> Steve Harris and go, you're a fucking manga. What a load of shit. I wouldn't, I'd just go, I didn't like that as much as the last one. Sure. And go, oh, I love this one. Let it uh, ride and whatever. Same thing with Sabbath Palette 13. I loved it, but I didn't look for Tony Iommi to go, hey, I love that, you know. Uh, right. The last one was a load of shit. And what was all that Tony Wilson stuff? It's like, <laughs> right. you know, it's like, what are you doing? But because I'm open on my social media, because I want to keep that connection, because yeah. I'm a fan. And, and I think, you know, my, my biggest influence was Lemmy, and sadly he's passed away. Yeah. But I think that back in the day, if I could have got up in the morning, put on my Facebook, and went, morning, mm -hmm. Lemmy, and he just went, hey, how you doing? Hey, that was up? it. My day would be fucking set. <laughs> it would be over. My day would be set. He didn't have to say anything more. And, and I was denied all of that from my heroes. Uh, and a lot of them I didn't even meet. So I, if anybody wants to talk to me, I want to give that availability. Yeah. That's awesome, man. And you get some crackheads coming in as well. But That's inevitable, though. I mean, they want to keep shit here. But I admire, the, I admire the fact that they're so passionate about their music. Yeah. If it's me or if it's the other guy or yeah. if it's somebody else or if it's not us at all. <laughs> the fact that they are so passionate they want to come in and scream at you 
about yeah. it it's like that's you keep that spirit yeah always keep that spirit you yeah. know don't let that spirit go you know it's kind of what generated the band in the first place yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's what keeps us going yeah you know it's it's it keeps us going you know because uh, once we lose that we lose our inspiration for life and uh, once we've lost that people are jump off bridges and yeah. shoot themselves in the head and lie in the woods somewhere it's like what are you doing, you know? Yeah. And they go, well, what the fuck is the point in life? It's like, what is the point in life? It's what you want to make it. Yeah. Life is what you fucking make it. Yeah. Get out there and fucking grab your bit of it. Don't, don't think, you know, that someone else is eating all the cake. It's there for everybody. You just got to start <laughs> jumping on it. <laughs>